Ingers' candidacy for the African Union Commission chairmanship received a major boost on Friday after Somalia former Foreign Affairs Minister Fozier Adam endorsed Odinga's bid. Fozier, a career diplomat who visited Odinga at his current home here in Nairobi, may say that she made the decision in the spirit of East African unity and Pan-Africanism. Apollo Kamal reports. <laughs> Azimio coalition chief Raila Odinga's diplomatic push to bolster his campaign for the African Union Commission chairmanship paid off after Somalia former foreign affairs minister Fozia Yusuf endorsed Odinga's bid after stepping down last week. In the spirit of pan-Africanism and for Eastern Africa unity and development, I would like to support his candidacy and I'm very pleased to do it. I'm very grateful to my sister here for the generosity she has exhibited by accepting to step down in our favor. And she has also assured me that she will work together with me in this campaign so that we can be able to bring this uh, seat here back uh, home. This is the second time Fozia is withdrawing her candidacy after making a similar move in 2016 for the then Foreign Affairs Minister Amina Mohammed, who later lost to Mosafaki of Chad. Insiders in diplomatic circles say Kenya and Djibouti pressured Somalia to drop her candidacy in favor of their respective candidates. We want Africa to unite and speak with one voice. We don't want to be talking about um, Christians and Muslims, uh, Anglophone, Francophone. The Odinga campaign team, which welcomed the endorsement, is confident of causing an upset in the AUC race, given the three candidates, Mahmoud Yusuf of Djibouti, Richard James of Madagascar, and Anil Gayan of Mauritius, come from French-speaking countries, which might split the Francophone vote, working to Kenya's advantage. Apulkamau, TV47.